Hello friends, this is Catherine. Today we are machining a workpiece to test the stability of our CNC system and machining interfaces as well. Meanwhile, we are gonna carry out a test on the newly added feature 3D simulation of X machine, our self-developed software. During the roughing, the strategy we adopted is slightly different from how we used to do it. We made full use of the dynamic milling of the cutting to set edges, which largely improves the machining efficiency and provides a reference for the machining load of its mechanical structure and the spindle. We added 3D simulation to the software a couple of days ago and we want to see whether the simulated machining and the actual machining could match. At the same time, we hope to acquire some data to improve the simulation effects during this machining. Actually, we've done similar tests multiple times before and while we're machining this workpiece, we found the system shows no sign of 5x function and G-code switching parsing errors after hours of machining. During finishing, we applied RTCP two-tip point following and simultaneous 5x machining technology. And you can also find 5x drilling at the last stage. In the time of machining this workpiece, the CNC system interfaces and 3D simulation all have demonstrated stable performance even after long time and multi-function involved machining, meaning that the software is getting more and more stable. Okay, that's it. If you're interested in 5-axis sensing machining and machines, just subscribe to our channel or we'll make more videos introducing our CNC machines soon. Bye!